Hey there everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So we are going to continue with this old Hungarian handheld radio made by Budapest Radio Technic Works. This is the radio's uh, power supply. Uh, in the last video I have mentioned that uh, this can be mounted on the wall or any vertical surface that's suitable for the user and now we are going to look into detail how this power supply works and what's inside uh, on the outside you can see that here is a little box it uh, shapes uh, a battery and you can put the radio here this acts as a power supply connector for the radio, this and this point here. This is the main power supply and this lamp here indicates that the power supply is switched on. If it's on normally, then the lamp is lit. If the power supply is switched off, then it goes dark like right now. I will turn off the other lamp and you can see it. Okay, so uh, let's take a look on the bottom side. Well, first, uh, before I start, I have to tell you that uh, normally there is a bottom plate on the power supply, like this, but I have already removed it so you can see the inside of the power supply. Uh, this PCB board here is, uh, <laughs> well, it's pretty big compared to today's standards. And let's flip it over for a second. And if you take a look at the serial number here, it says uh, 802430. The first two digits of the serial number represents the manufacture date. So 80 means uh, 1980. Well, <laughs> in 1980, the biggest or bigger electronic manufacturers in the USA, in Western Germany, in Japan, in the United Kingdom, uh, they, <laughs> they, they, they made uh, more modern uh, devices like this. Uh, what to put here for a uh, size comparison. Uh, here is my cleaning toothbrush. So take a look at this. This is a, is a, is a normal toothbrush. And now you can imagine the huge size of this board. Uh, you might say that there is a very complex uh, electronics placed on this PCB. Well, you are absolutely wrong. It's not very complex. Let's flip it over. And let's take a look at the parts placed on the PCB. Uh, here is a thinner diode. Uh, it uh, helps to stabilize the output voltage to 9.4 volts, as I told you before. This pot here uh, is used to adjust the output voltage. These capacitors here are filtering capacitors. These were already replaced by me. I will show you the original ones. One and two. These were the original electrolytic capacitors. Both the capacitance value and the ESR value, these both were really, really bad. I've tested them with, uh, with uh, the proper instrument, so these capacitors had to be changed. These four diodes here form the bridge rectifier, and this is here. Uh, this is the main pass transistor, this is another transistor, uh, and here are one, two, and three resistors. Uh, let's go back to the manufacture date, 1980. Because 
the year is important because uh, Budapest Radio Technic Works still used germanium semiconductors. This ASZ1015 uh, pass transistor here and this smaller transistor here is a germanium type. Well, as far as I can remember, one of the biggest uh, semiconductor manufacturer, Motorola, stopped using germanium type semiconductors at the end of the 1960s. In the maybe 1968-69, I can't really remember, but this factory still used germanium transistors in this power supply. The main switch is located in there and uh, the main transformer is located under here. I can show you that because uh, it is, uh, it is, it is uh, located in a very wrong place but I will try to light a little bit. Yes, there it is, there it is the main transformer. So, and don't forget the main line fuse, it is very important. Uh, the output is connected by using these two wires, positive and uh, negative here and here. It connects to the other side, to the battery shaped uh, little plastic box. Okay, now all the faulty capacitors are replaced. The next step will be to properly adjust the output voltage and we can go live with testing the radio itself. Well folks, thank you for watching this video. If you found it interesting, please uh, click a like or, uh, or uh, you can uh, watch my other videos as well. And that's it for now. Thank you guys and have a nice day. Bye bye.